Okay, they really are taking a long time coming on. So we're on, let's see if we can get this baby rocking. Got to remember it's two minutes, it's a bullet thing, got to move fast. Shall we? Yeah, okay. Yes, 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 yes. What's he going to do with the exchange though? Now he's shocked that he's actually got the rook. But what's he going to do with it? There's no time scales to actually do fancy techniques, so that's why I just let them have it. Now he's overthinking, which is good. Creative brain is thinking, whoa, 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 I've got the actual rook. What do I do with it? Let's go. I'm not losing any sleep over it at all. And knight's come down for I don't know what reason. So that's all good for us. Let's just push here. I'm not going to overthink anything. Let's push here. Takes, knight takes. Doesn't. Let's go here. Let's uh, move the knight somewhere, anywhere, just move it. Takes the pawn. Serious overthinking going on, which is good for us. Let's bring this knight here, takes the pawn with the rook. Doesn't take the knight. He's looking for some sort of checkmate position somewhere, isn't he? Let's go here, he's looking for that funky bishop type situation. A lot of thought went into that. Looks like the opponent may have left the game. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Claim victory on that. Okay, I think that was a nice example right there. Uh, just go back a few moves. Let's go to the analysis. Oh, and he's gone for a, a report and analysis already. Oh, we've got zero, in zero inaccuracies, um, two mistakes, five blunders. Oh, no, that's them. <laughs> They've got zero inaccuracies. All right, okay. I've got one inaccuracy, two mistakes, five blunders. Okay, all right, so they've got zero inaccuracies. Mm, okay, that's probably because they did the funky attack, but let's have a look anyway at the situation. So let's go back a few. So in a bullet match... In a bullet match, almost anything goes because you don't, you genuinely don't have that time to think of massive king strategies, you know, to really put some checkmates on. So this what this is what flummoxed the opponent. So they came down with the knight, saying it's a blunder type situation there. We brought our bishop up, saying it's a blunder. Yeah, it's massive. Look at that. Um, they're a few moves away from actually getting checkmate, but to me, I couldn't see it. Yep, so only only advantage is he's going to have a rook as far as I can see. So he took ages over this particular move. I think they got shocked because they actually had the queen and the rook. But as we said, what are they going to do with it in the time that they've got? There's nothing major on the board. The position on the board isn't critical for me. Um, it's showing, yes, the out and out winning here. But it's a small pawn move, you know, it's uh, <laughs> nothing great. Then they bring the knight down, we attack the knight. Obviously we did the wrong move there, what was the expecting? Knight taking the pawn, we wasn't going to lose any sleep over it because it's going to take a while for their pieces to get into position to cause damage. If it was a longer game, then we wouldn't have done any of the silly moves that we did make. But in a shorter game, we can get away with them because the opponent doesn't have the time to put in a long-term strategy. So we push through with the pawn here. Basically, we're just look playing on time here. And the opponent jumps down. As you can see, why is out and out winning. But they have to find that position that is the winning position. They don't have time to do that. So we can bring our knight down. We're not looking at anything fantastic. Oh, look, our rook could have taken his queen. <laughs> <laughs> and we didn't even spot that so we grab the pawn here because we know that their time is running down they can't formulate anything major and the rook could have taken the queen again I was so focused on our knight over here and the queen comes across now looking for that bishop type attack so we take the rook off the ball because we're not too concerned and bring the bishop here it's saying it's a blunder but we're looking to just protect this pawn but within the elements of the games that you're playing 
if they didn't put times on the chess thing then obviously obviously then you'd just be playing long-term chess and you'd make your moves whenever you wanted to make them but as part of the package of chess with bullet blitz any of the quicker time frames you have that element of time management and I know it's frowned upon when people go oh you, sh you shouldn't be flagging you should be playing proper chess and this that and the other in my eyes it is part of the um, strategical framework depending on what game you're playing you have to be ready to say well okay is their, is their position really any good you, you know maybe they've done a big attack but if they're doing a big attack they've got to put a lot of thought process into that attack and that eats in to their time so you, you have to play it logically and in my head here we took away all the creative aspects we could have done x y and z moves but we went logically well you don't look like you're going to have time to actually formulate a big attack from whatever you've got because your pieces aren't actually working together as simple as that so that's how we we gained advantage in this bullet game and in many of the bullet games that we play we utilize that strategy if we've got a half decent position then we will try and formulate an attack towards their king to get a, um, a checkmate but in bullet i'm more so like to just sit back get my pieces into position let the opponent over expand where they want to if they're then trying to go for like a checkmate it really does slow your brain down